from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for July 25th, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USD JPY, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen for today's trade analysis. We're starting here on the daily time frame. A few different trends that we've seen over the past several months going all the way back to April. We see the uptrend, the red trend line on the far left. You can see it went up and then reversed and went back down from the top of the red trend line to the bottom of the black trend line. Then it went up again from the black trend line up to about the same high that the red trend line capped out and then it's started falling back down. The blue trend line is really what we want to focus our attention on today because historically the last time the market fell off of the resistance high of the green shaded area it went all the way back down into the 1.0 or sorry 109.0 level the purple shaded area down here. So if we see a repetition of the pattern we might look for at least to turn back to the yellow zone if not the purple zone or even the orange zone at the very bottom of the chart. So we're looking for the continuation of the downtrend pattern, essentially the blue trend line here on the chart. If I zoom it in here on the daily time frame, doesn't really help us a lot. We just still see that blue trend line. One last thing here on the daily before we go down to the four hour is the 100 period moving average just underneath the green shade area. It's been fairly flat over the past several weeks, but now we're starting to see that turn down underneath the green shade area. So that's another clue to us that we may be looking for a momentum shift to go back down is that 100 period moving average starting to pressure back down underneath the 111.75 level. Keep in mind where that is as we go down to the four hour time frame. Once we get down here to the four hour, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, over the past few weeks, we have been studying this pattern of this trend, the blue trend line, where it has fallen and made a little bit of a rally. The two blue circles show the first couple of rallies after making significant falls. Then the black circle, the first black circle, shows a rally from the green to the blue zone. And really, the repetition of the pattern is this, uh, a rise and then a fall, a rise and then a fall, a rise and a fall. So here we are, we've in the past few days, week or so, have been in the rise phase we've gone from the pink zone back up to the orange zone and we're challenging the blue trend line the falling trend line we're challenging just underneath that blue trend line and that sits right around the 111.45 level so the blue trend lines there we know that the 100 period daily moving average sits there just right around the 111.65 or so level just right around the green shaded area so we know that there's good possibility that we're looking for resistance and a return to the downtrend. And we also can assess our risk. Our risk is it breaks the blue trend line, breaks above the orange zone, and goes higher. So what we're looking for today is for the market to stay under the blue trend line. And I'll put that arrow a little bit over to the right so we can see it. Under the blue trend line and under the top of the orange shaded area, 111.45, and start to return lower. And the risk is pretty easy. The risk is it breaks above the orange shaded area, 111.45, and goes back higher towards the next resistance, which happens to be the green shaded area. And of course, our target, our first target, let's say, would be the pink shaded area. And of course, anything underneath there, we would look for further profit if it breaks and continues the pattern of the trend, which would be a new low to be made likely down towards the 110 level. So that's a pretty easy way to look at it. A couple of Fibonacci ranges that I've drawn, highest high of the blue trend line down to the lowest low. And even right here at the blue shaded area, right in the middle of that trend line, right about right here, I took Fibonacci from there down to the lowest low. And we can find that there are a couple of Fibonacci retracement measurement levels or ratios sitting just above our orange shaded area, giving us another boost of confidence to this orange shaded area as our resistance level. Of course, for this to happen, we need the US dollar to sell off. We need the Japanese yen to gain some strength. If that happens, uh, we'll look for the target again, back down to the orange zone or lower. And even so, the risk is fairly minimal. We just don't want it to get above the orange shaded area today for the US yen. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.